Next up on Hit Parade, we welcome the Brad to the microphone, our best man. He's got a few words to say. Everybody who paid for and participated in this glorious, momentous wedding. Thank you all. Why are you laughing? You know, you automatically assume I'm going to be making jokes. I'm serious. Thank you all so much, especially the bartenders in the other room, because we couldn't have done this without any of them. So let's give a round of applause for the bartenders. They're godsend. Now, I know what we're all thinking. Linda, you look absolutely exquisite. Scott, you tried your best. <laughs> and you know, um, it wasn't easy for Scott to choose his best man. First, he called the most charming guy he knew, and that guy said no. Second, he called the most trusted and smartest person he knows. That guy also said no. So then he asked the best looking guy he knows, and unfortunately, that guy said no. Then Scott came to me and asked me, and I told him, Scott, I can't say no to you four times. <laughs> Okay, then. so, here we are. It's been, what, 30 years since these guys got together? I mean, she moved in with us in, like, 2006, and my God, we've been waiting for this guy to pop the question ever since. But you know, that's something, I think. The fact that even when their relationship was as young as a cherry blossom at the very beginning of spring, we all knew it would grow up to be this beautiful, amazing tree that would just stare down at the rest of us single folk as if to say, yeah, that's what we need. <laughs> but don't get me wrong, it wasn't always spring for them. I mean, God knows I was there during the harsh winters when it seemed as if that cherry blossom was going to wither away and die out for good. But they pushed through, and they came out on top of the hill. They pushed through the storm, and they made it on top. Blooming as bright as ever. And right now, today, I am called the best man. And quite frankly, I think that that's an unfair title. To be brutally honest, the best man is sitting right here before me, and he's the groom. And that would make Linda the best lady, of course. That goes without saying. And me, I'm just some jackass who had front row seats to the whole thing. I mean, I had the tremendous pleasure to see this relationship grow and mature through all these years. And when I couldn't see, I'd be forced to hear it through the bedroom walls. <laughs> Thanks a lot for that. But no, I, I was there from the beginning, which is, it's a privilege, I think. I think it's a privilege. I mean, do you remember when they were just a couple of kids trying to work through high school at the now-closed KFC where they met? It's closed now, you know that? It's been closed for a couple years. And, I mean, it's funny how fate works, isn't it? If one of them had waited a year or two, or even more, to apply at that particular KFC, they would have driven right past it, only to find a decrepit, abandoned old shack, shut down for good. Or, what if Linda had worked at the Burger King nearby instead? What if Scott was flipping patties and making McFlurries at the local McDonald's instead, you know? I mean... <sighs> Would they have even met? Would they have ever even met? So many circumstances could have prevented the meeting of these two souls, and yet here they are, against a million odds. And here they have been for over a decade now. And finally, here we all are. Here we are. Take a look around, all of us, today. Whether or not some of us were here for the goods, or the bads, or the uglies, what matters is that we have been given the privilege to witness these two beautiful people finally tie the knot and make their undying love official. And that is important. If you're feeling some kind of heaviness in your heart right now, know that that merely means that you are alive, that you are human. At the end of it all, that's what counts. Our ability to feel, our ability to care, and our ability to love. So tonight, I ask, once again, for the third time, that we raise our glasses to the odd couple, the cherry blossom that made it through thick and thin. Tonight, let us drink to their unyielding courage, their hopeless devotion, and their eternal, everlasting, effervescent love. To Scott and to Linda, I offer you an Irish toast in my best Irish accent, even though we're like 5% Irish. May you live as long as you want. And never want, but as long as you live. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, oh, and, 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 of course, one more thing. In the forever, infinitely wise words of the late, great Jedi Master, Obi-Wan Kenobi, may the fools be with you always.